Hello, West Seattle. This is a quick video about how to use Google Maps to figure out drive times and driving uh, directions for uh, getting around the city. Also, you can use Google Maps to figure out how to walk from place to place or cycle or use all kinds of transit that way. All right, so basically you get Google Maps open. You know, the easy thing is to have like the general area you're going to figure out. So say I'm trying to figure out how to drive from West Seattle High School here over to the Space Needle. All right, two really uh, normal places in wet in Seattle. So the way to do it is um, to use your search Google Maps and then just type in where you want to go from. And so, for instance, I want to go from West Seattle High School. Um, mine, I've already done this one example, so it already knows what kind of things I'm looking for. But you would just type in West Seattle High School there. Uh, in this case, I can just click it. Um, and then it will put a little arrow there and there's all kinds of, you know, like information about West Seattle High School. But the thing you want to click here is direction. So you're going to figure out directions from or to something. Um, so from West Seattle to the Space Needle, um, that actually is going uh, to uh, somewhere else. But it uh, you can basically do your location or you can do in this case, uh, what I'm doing is clicking up here. I'm going to do the Space Needle. All right. Um, and usually it'll auto complete. And so in this case, I'm going to do Space Needle. All right. And now it's showing from West Seattle High School to the Space Needle. All right. And you can switch that around using this little up and down arrow. Doesn't actually change much, although sometimes it does change the directions a little bit. All right. So the nice thing about this is it gives you a picture of how to draw how to drive from West Seattle to the Space Needle. And arguably, this is more important than figuring out the direct line distance. The direct line distance is pretty short, actually. It's like four and a half, five miles, I think. And yet the driving distance, because the bridge is down, uh, is actually 11.9 miles. Um, and so that's obviously a much longer drive. And this is what people actually experience unlike direct line unless you have your own helicopter. So this kind of measurement of distance can be important if you're trying to understand distances that really exist between a city. I'm doing this uh, video right now at 11 at night or actually 10 at night. Um, and so there's not a lot of traffic out. If I were doing this in the middle of the day or at five in the afternoon when traffic's really busy, um, the time that would take to get from here to there would actually be at least double that because there's a lot more traffic. So the nice thing about Google Maps, it not only tells you the distance, but it also tells you how long it'll take. Um, so you can use this to figure out all kinds of things um, about that. And once you have one direction, you can just start actually just grabbing this little dot here and use it to drive all kinds of other places if you feel like, for instance, uh, say like the International District or something. Um, or if you wanted to figure out you know, how to get to the airport or something like that, uh, or Boeing Field anyway. Um, so you can just kind of drag that little dot around and it'll take you places and you can figure out distances that way if you have an assignment asking you to do stuff like that. I'm going to take this dot and put it back on the Space Needle for the final thing I'm going to show you. Um, so here's driving to the Space Needle, uh, mas o menos, uh, more or less. And then the other thing is you'll notice up here you have these various other things. So for instance, if I wanted to walk to the Space Needle, um, which would be a different trip, um, it'll show you, Google will show you, the best way to do that. You'd actually walk down to the waterfront get on a ferry, take the ferry across the sound, and then walk that way. Um, and you can see it takes a really long time, but it's actually a shorter distance, interestingly, than driving. Uh, you could take a bicycle, um, and it'll figure out a similar route. So in this case, you're going to take the low bridge, which is not blocked right now, and then ride along the waterfront. Um, so you can use this to figure that out. And this is a totally different miles uh, distance from both the driving distance, the walking distance, and direct line distance. So uh, depending on what mode of transportation you're using, it, you can use this. Uh, you could also use transit uh, and see how like buses would work and things like that, or light rail or anything like that. So you can use this measure distance thing to figure out all kinds of ways to get around the city. And uh, it'll show your traffic effects and all kinds of other things as well. So that's how to use Google uh, to basically figure out how to get from place to place. You can close that out. And once again, you started by just searching for a place, uh, in this case, you know, typing in West Seattle High School, or I can just click it here, and then clicking on the directions button, and then choosing a second direction, a second place, or just dragging the thing where you want it to go, um, and it'll figure it out for you. All right, so that is how to use Google Maps. I hope that was helpful. Thanks, bye.